Hey guys, welcome back to another Lake of the Woods and More Fishing Report. Real quick, if you use any of the guides or resorts that are on the Fishing Report, please let them know that you saw them here on After Five Outdoors. We're starting to get into March now. Hopefully we're gonna get some warmer weather. We still got some below zero nights the way it looks here coming up, but hopefully we're gonna start warming up. We're getting more daylight, but there's still a lot of ice fishing to be done. Let's start out this week. Let's go over to Devil's Lake, talk to Mike Peluso's outdoors. He says he's getting towards the end of his guide season, but the perch are starting to cooperate a little bit better. So he says that's a good positive sign. Mike says the key to his, his success for perch right now is tungsten jigs packed with spikes. He says the best way to get these fish to bite, drop that jig down, pound the bottom up, get some silt going, simulate fish feeding. That's been calling them in. Perch fishing has been a lot better in the past couple weeks over on Devil's Lake. Now, as far as the walleye bite over on Devil's Lake, Mike says that it, it's still a pretty short window of time that early morning late afternoon into evening. Now on some overcast days, you're gonna get those fish to bite a little bit more during the daytime as well. Mike says he's really starting to look for these walleyes to start moving shallower here. We're getting longer light periods and that's gonna simulate the spawn starting to come up. He says getting those walleyes to bite, they're using buckshot spoons, they're hooking the minnows, they're using a full minnow and they're hooking them in the back. Now travel conditions over on Devil's Lake have been pretty good. Mike says that the, the snow is a hard pack. There's a lot of trucks driving around. You can't drive everywhere, but travel is a lot easier. He says now when it gets a little bit warmer and that snow starts to get a little less solid, it's gonna to be tougher, you're gonna to need track vehicles again out on Devil's Lake. Mike has a few trips left and he's starting to look, really starting to look forward to getting out on some open water in Bismarck, chasing some trophy walleyes. If you wanna get out on Devil's Lake, chase some walleyes or some perch still on hard water, or you wanna book a trip or some trophy walleyes in the spring over in the Bismarck area, get in touch with Mike Peluso's Outdoors. Now staying on Devil's Lake, talk to Mark from Bry's Guide Service. He says you're still going to want to look for walleyes in those same winter spots. Old shoreline, pumps, rock piles, still going to be holding walleyes. Now walleyes are going to start to move shallower here soon. He says it won't be too long. You're going to be wanting to look for walleyes in current areas near bridges, ditch runoffs, culverts, things like that. He says they might not be directly in front of those spots, but they're going to be around there somewhere. Now Mark says as far as the perch bite, it's been day by day. Some days have been really, really good, and the next day they're just uh, slowing down a little bit. They're targeting perch still in 30 feet of water or more. Tungstens packed with spikes, waxies, or minnow heads have been working. Uh, it seems that if the fish, if you're noticing that the fish are more aggressive, switch to one of those uh, downsized buckshot rattles, PK spoons, slender spoons, lures like that. Mark says it's not an easy bite out there, but if you put the work in, drill some holes, move around, you're gonna find some perch. They're looking sometimes at structure too. Sometimes those perch can be just feet off of structure. Sometimes they'll be miles off of structure, but you're gonna find them in the mud. Now your weather for this weekend out on Devil's Lake, your highs are gonna be around 20. Your lows are gonna vary a little bit from the high teens to down to close to zero by Sunday. You're looking at about a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind almost every day out on Devil's Lake. If you want to get out on Devil's Lake, fish out of a snow bear, chase some perch or some walleyes, get in touch with Mark from Bry's Guide Service. Now with it being into March, most of the state of Minnesota is closed for fishing. Your panfish is still open, but of course up on Lake of the Woods, walleye, saugers, pike, all that stuff is, is still open. Talked to Wes Harder from Wes Harder's Guide Service, said this past week has been a little bit tougher. Having to jig quite a bit, try call them fish in and hoping that they're hitting on the dead sticks. Wes says to downsize, smaller minnows, smaller lures, smaller jigs, watch your electronics. Now as far as travel on Lake of the Woods, uh, if you don't have tracks, it's gonna be about impossible. A lot of snow up there. Uh, they're even having some difficulty plowing. No slush really as of yet, but if we, when we start to get some warmer temperatures, that's going to be a factor too. If you got a house up that way and you live a distance away, really watch the weather. When it starts to warm up, you're going to need to get that house out of there. It's just going to get uh, more difficult to travel around once it gets warmer. Wes has a few openings still uh, going into March here. It won't be too long. They're going to be getting into tip-ups for pike. If you're wanting to make a late season trip up to Lake of the Woods, out of War Road, get in touch with Wes from Wes Harder's Guide Service. Moving over to the east end of Lake of the Woods, talk to Marshall from Lake Road Lodge. Marshall said it's been day by day up there. Guys are still catching fish. Some days are a little bit better than others. You're definitely gonna wanna use glow colored jigs or anything that lights up, a lot of snow cover, so it's really, really dark down there. Uh, might not be a bad idea either. You can start trying some shallower stuff as we are starting to get into March here, more daylight. Sometimes that shallower bite does fire up pretty good as well. Marshall wanted to say, just please, uh, if you're heading up there to the wheelhouse, call ahead. They will plow you out some spots, but it, it, it is pretty difficult to move around right now with the, with the excess of snow that we have. 
He says, you know, you don't want to be parking next to uh, their resort houses and stuff and drilling a bunch of holes. It's going to cause some flooding issues. And please don't drill holes on the road. Don't forget also, February 28th, our Minnesota fishing license ex expired. You got to get that new one for the year of 2022 into 2023. If you want to get up out of Baudet, they got some tip-up fishing coming up soon as well. Marshall has a motel, so he's got lodging, day houses, sleeper houses. If you want to get up out of that Baudet area, get in touch with Marshall from Lake Road Lodge. Also talked to Young's Bay Resort this week up at the Northwest Angle. Hasn't had a lot of people up there this past week. I was up this past week up to the northwest angle fishing 14 feet. I caught a few walleyes, some pikes, so shallow bite is, is starting to come alive a little bit. Buckshot rattles, spoons, jigging wraps, minnow heads, all those things will do the trick. The snowmobile trail uh, is pretty good out of Warroad. Uh, once you get to that breaker that's just south of the of the uh, angle, I went up on Saturday, come back on Monday, and that uh, had really heaved up, so I had to go around and look for a, a way around. So if you're heading up to the angle on the snowmobile trail out of Warroad, as of Tuesday morning, uh, from Warro to that breaker was not groomed, but after that breaker to the angle was groomed on Tuesday. Nice conditions. Uh, out of Baudette, I know I haven't been that way for quite a while. It was pretty rough from Baudette uh, up till about past Garden, and then they had groomed to that point. But a lot of bomber traffic from Baudette up to that Garden area, so the trail was a little bit rougher. But I've not been up there in a couple weeks, and I haven't heard really anything about it. So that could have changed a little bit. Hopefully we're going to get some warmer weather. Hopefully we can do some hole hopping and getting ready for a tip up, something to really look forward to. If you use these guys at resorts, please let them know you saw them here. Hope you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors and we will see you on the next one.